Someone will ask, are, we, are the dead raised? What kind of body do they come? Foolish person, what you sow does not come to life unless what you sow is not the body that is to be, but a bare kernel, perhaps of wheat or of some other grain. God gives it a body as he has chosen. Kind of seed it's on. Not all flesh is the same, but there is one kind for you, another for animals, another for birds, another for fish. There are heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly and the glory of the earthly. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For the star differs from the So it is with the resurrection of What is sown is perishable, raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, raised a spirit. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. Written. The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life. But it is not the spiritual that is first, but the natural. The first man was from the earth. The second man, as was the man of dust, so also are those who are of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, so also are just as we were in the image of also inherent, fallible, strengthen us, encourage us. We're feeling Well, we went through this last year. <laughs> last year. What happened this year. We looked at the four things I studied two illustration from nature. Description of our all takes up this contract. Earthly. For now, the background of that, that the Corinthians had basically agreed okay, there is, we agree that, that Jesus Christ rose. Testified. Believe our Lord and Savior. But there was, a, there was a secular philosophy. They did. So they did not believe that, that they would experience certainly resurrection of the philosophical mentality. And and much of the the body was evil, so you couldn't expect the body to do anything good. It was so to be released from the body, to be entered into a spirit realm. The idea of a body. Paul has been arguing makes nature about. Different nature. So he anticipated the question. Dead Ray. Description of section. Describing how, how even humans are different from animals. The sun is different the moon, the moon, the stars. That brings us to the third contrast. There's these four contrasts between the earthly, starting out by saying something up on 50. But it's sown perishable. Own, you think, analogy of the chain fall. Here, talking about bodies. What is sown is perishable. Raise. What you plant in the ground at your funeral, my funeral, do so because it was 
perishable. Had the capacity to the resurrection comes out as what is sown it is sown in dishonor raised sown in weakness raised it is sown a natural body. follow his thinking here bury somebody's because they, had, they were in a hope of the resurrection that happened. Sown in dishonor. What does he mean? What's dishonorable? Dying. Nothing necessarily is. But all of his thinking, the fact that that body could die, something happened. Lying here, face him out theologically. The fall. Adam and Eve were created upright in the God. They were given paradise. Sinned. When they sinned, that was dishonorable to God. And there were consequences to that. God had told them that. In the day that you eat of the tree that I've forbidden you to partake of, you'll surely die. And when they did that, they began the process. That was not true to their being, their bodies prior. They began. And death entered the world, as Paul said. Death came. Death reigned in Adam, Paul. In that also. So when, a, when you bury somebody, the burial itself is not dishonorable. And it doesn't even mean necessarily that their life is dishonorable for our people. Say that Judy Oles own in speaking about her fact that she body barely die if Jesus Christ carries him. That happened. You gotta see it for what it is. Death comes because so you don't stop there. The contrast is on. It is raised. He's trying to get them to to, to change their thinking about the nature of the body. What he's basically saying is, I agree with you that right now, earth, this tabernacle of flesh, that tent we're living in, that's that's decaying has problems with it. But when it's planted in the ground, death, foretaste, those who die in the Lord, how else can you say blessed are the dead who die in the Lord? The foretaste of a turn, of a resurrection, that will be glorious, just as glorious as death is dishonorable. It is sown in weakness. Again, the planting of the body in the ground at death because there is a weakness in the body. There is a mortality. So you're going to hear him say over in, in 51 following, this mortal must put on immortality. This corruptible must put on corruption. And for those of us who are, who are getting advanced in of you younger can identify with it. Really, really increasingly feel mentality. Feel the corruptibility of the body houses. Sown in weakness. Raised in this sown a natural body. This is what we were given. This when when we began to be formed in our chromosomes were put in place not to be tampered with not to go through a transition any point we were then 
we're going to do. Biologically. So, in come to a so that was the that was the hard it's hard now sometimes hard for for us to see Jesus some people it's hard for others to see us it's Our frail creatures struggle with not glorify. We're not living perfectly for the Lord. So we tend to tend to see the natural. Even in the life of someone who has been supernaturally saved by grace through faith. And our challenge apostles. I no longer regard anyone. That's that's a challenge. You say you're my brother. Christ, you say you're my sister. Christ, I need to train myself not to regard you as flesh, though though all I can see, hear, touch is flesh. Realize that God breathed into the nostrils of our first parent, Adam became a living flesh soul. So when, when we are conceived for any being, any medical instrument, tell us that is taken. Come to the light. Package it. Failed in God. Failed the incarnate. Trying to teach them not to look at physical life, the body as intrinsic. Look at it as a body that has been firstly affected by the fall. And then see people who are unconverted sons and daughters of Adam and Eve simply living, working out the nature that is in them was born. Then look at yourself and rejoice. While, while you're not what you want to be and you're not what you're going to be, by God's grace, you're not what you used to be, not what you were. You're spiritual. When you sow the natural in is elsewhere to be absent from the body is to be present with that the spiritual goes to be Christ. Waiting for the day when the glorified body gives these and he, and he makes this observation. If there's a natural body, reasoning. Reasoning with Christians who come out of a pagan culture who've been taught to think the body is only and always. I've told you before, one of the implications of that was they figured they could do anything in their physical body. The body's evil. I mean, what do you expect me to do? That's just what, that's what physical people do. Now, now, my spirit is of a whole different mindset. Glorify God. Acts to the deal with remaining sin. If there's a natural body, verse, there is also a spirit. The fact that you can see. And hear and touch a natural body, Paul says, is the evidence. There is a spiritual body. Why, how, why would he say that? Because without spirit, 
without soul, we would be stumps. We'd be trees. The animation, the, the capacity to reason, the, the ability to, to create beauty and transcendence and all those things that are part of being human. Remarkable ingenuity means that we're not just physical clumps. It makes that, that argument. Say very quickly, Ecclesiastes 3.20, all go to one place, all are from the dust, all return. Same way Psalm 100. He knows our frame and he remembers that we're dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like grass. Passes over it. He's gone. Place knows it. Martin Luther. As weak as the At all just so strong will it so that not a thing will be light and let's look at the fourth thing sample Thus it is written, first Adam became a living being. He's taking the, right out of the Genesis account, breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and, and became. As it's written in the Genesis, first Adam became the last is a perfect life as a vicarious substitution Bring in his body our sin, satisfying God's divine. So that God. Last Adam became eternal Son of God. Face to face fellowship. Left that. Bethlehem. One mission. And did not come to serve, but to serve and to give his life around. Must go to Jerusalem. Built. Days rise again. Also that he, having become one of them, had the authority. Conquering death, hell. Heart. He says, but it is not the spiritual that is the natural. Then the spiritual, watch what he's doing. He's, Adam came first, first Adam. Last Adam comes after him. Natural first. Verse 47, the first man was from the earth, man of dust, literally. God scooped up. Read the first man was from the earth, a man of dust. Second man is from heaven. That's where God came, left heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are of the dust. All descendants of Adam and Eve. That's all of us. That's all of us, Paul says in Acts. He's made, he's made of. One blood, all humanity. So just as Adam and Eve began to die the day that they sinned against us, we come into this world. This is maybe a morbid way to look at it. Little granddaughter. The moment she breathed,
Don't come to this place to live forever here. Come to this place to take our existence prayerfully, wisely, good stewards of opportunities to trust God in the gospel, live eternally with Him. If we're foolish, unwise, then we'll spend As was the man of the dust, so also were those who were of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, Christ, so also are those who are of heaven. Talking about earlier. Because we all come into this world in Adam, this huge circle, all in Adam, 1 Corinthians. Challenge every person who ever breathes this earth's atmosphere. Get out of Adam. Who has a circle? As is the Just as the man of heaven came, lived, died, was buried, and rose again, so will all of those who. Just as we were born the image, man of the dust, we're all made in the image of God, we shall also bear the image. End of our sins and trust in Jesus. We, scripture says, we take on Christ's righteousness. We become robed is right. And when God sees us, you've got to believe this. When He sees you, Christian, He sees you through the lenses of perfect. Justification by faith. John says, oh, we don't know about heaven. Yes. Happening to you follow Jesus Christ, if you belong to Him, truly saved by grace, you are being. Sometimes that's. Providences are different. Rub against the place. The enemy of our souls wants us to believe that if all is not going well, and he's got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of preachers supporting him in this notion. Uh, that if all is not going well for us, forming us, increasing, does that as he squeezes us. Jesus said, "In this world, you will have tribulation. In this world, you." Will be squeezed. Ellipsis. I'm squeezed. What comes out of me? Not the aroma of Christ, but it needed to come out of me. It needed to be gotten out of me. Oftentimes it's a mixed. They'll also be. So one day, verse one. If if consummate, aching that you have in your heart right now. Oh, I want to be more like Jesus. More like Jesus. be granted loved you and once you once you're in heaven you go how in
in eternity. Glory, praising, worthy, worthy. Discordant, no, no conflicts, no regrets. Lamb, we say, lamb is all. Paul has made, I think, a strong case here. These secular people become Christians. Brought that philosophy. We live in a growing secular. Box, God, Son, party of His Word. Those who would call them undermining. Holy Father, you're the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We willing to be like one of us, really like what, so that by your grace, being enabled to repent of Help us not to be weary and well. Leave. Do see. Pray for. Courage each. Bless each. Build up each. Those who are not yet Christ followers. But the beautiful end that we described will not be theirs. They trust. Then thinking about the day in which we live and think about the beauty of the direction. Maranatha.